What is that? Oh, it's a. He's golden. Oh! <laughs> yes, sir. Special shout outs to FX Air Guns and Paramount Air. <sighs> Oh my God. Hyper orange. Oh. Oh. Ooh. The finesse. The finesse. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my gosh. Definitely. Six foot. Another exciting episode. Today we're at a private golf course. We're at the golf course, let's check it out. We we'll see ya. What happened to that guy? So, what were you guys saying? It's gonna get down to the 50s tonight? Yes, sir. Yeah, 50 degrees. Again? Again. Dude. It's gotta be. Look at this. This is an insane pond full of lily pads. Shallow pond. Maybe it's the dry season right now. Blackhead, look at this Muscovy right here. Almost has no red on it, almost all black head. You see those back feathers, how they're like kind of like glistening in the sun a little bit? Hmm, I wonder if they're tasty. Looks tasty, what you think? Once we said that, you kind of just, it's kind of going the other way, all right. What is that? Whoa. Got a big dead fish right there. Is that a peacock bass? Oh, it's common. Oh, there are an iguana right there. And an iguana. Oh, there. I uh, catch that iguana. Hold on, dude. What? No way. Got him. Now, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta ask them. Why are two iguanas over these dead fish? You need to ask him that question. Yo, oh, get that hey, whoa, whoa, where you going? There <laughs> <laughs> oh, we go. Nice grab. Yeah. The skin's getting kind of cold too. Yeah. So we're just trying to make, uh, you know, put two and two together here and just make a, you know, scientific assumption that maybe, for some reason or another, the dead fish here attracted the iguanas here for some reason. Here, he's actually shedding. Right really? here. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you see that, you definitely know that there's some kind of iguana or snake close by. Exactly, you know? just a heads up. He's kind of cute though. <laughs> Another big peacock bass. And they're big too, they're not like babies, they're actually. Yeah, the tropical fish really couldn't stand it. It's a rabbit, yo! It's right there. Or a bunny. It's not a bunny. This would be perfect bunny habitat. It makes sense, dude. Guys, we found peacock bass out here, ducks, iguanas, and now we, there's wild bunnies out here, guys. There's another one right there. Is he? All right, it's okay. Well, there's nothing we can do. We have to just try it, you know? Nice. Guys, this marshland is full of wildlife. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> All right, so it's Whoa. very important to get him tired out. I'm gonna grab right there because he's really feisty. To <laughs> so let him tire Ooh. out. After he's tired out, boom, you just go for a nice grab right behind the shoulders right there. It's probably burrows. You guys, this is the second iguana that we've seen. Uh, go into the marshlands. First one was sleeping in the water. The other one was sleeping on the hedge. This guy was right here sunbathing, but he was retreating back in this marsh, y'all. Uh, yeah. yeah, so the perfect size of one is you want to harvest are basically like, to me personally, I like the medium sized ones. Not too big, not too small. Perfect for stews. You can fry them up. All kind of different dishes you can do. Perfect size to eat. Could definitely feed two people very easily. The sun hitting them perfectly. Above him, you'll see some females waiting for him up there in a different part of the 
This is like a mansion for him. He's got his own personal sunning platform. These iguanas got jungle fever. Yeah. <laughs> Swamp iguana right there. Where? Right here. Right into the mud. Hey, see, he's camouflaged perfectly. He's blended in with the same color as the mud. It's like a croc, dude. Wow. It's like halfway around his jaw. You see it? No, I can't see. There's a leaf in the way. So there's a there's a chance he might slip off. Yeah, I got it around. I'm about to just go for it. Watch out, y'all. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You gotta keep the full touch on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh snap! He's right there. He's grabbable. Oh! <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, look at that! Wow! Right along the jaw. In his mouth. What a catch! That has got to be the the most epic, difficult catch I've ever done. And I just did it right there, y'all. It's going on my top ten. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, whenever he's you not, touch he's him, not, he's yeah, not tired yet. He's, not tired yet. he's not tired yet. Don't ever go like that because, look, you go like that, you can turn around and bite you right there. Always have your hand like that way so you can get away. It's never look at that. Look at his nails. Wow, just like an eagle, man, for grabbing and climbing. Well, they use it for climbing, but eagles have obviously stronger ones, they just look similar, you know. So the Florida marsh right here, man. Cool, cool, golden, yellow colored iguana right here. Straight back, you're welcome. Yeah, I almost did, but I just, I saw his back <laughs> spikes sticking out. I'm like, that does not belong there. There's no plants that have those spikes. That's all I saw right there was his spikes. Awesome. Your spikes gave it away, buddy. Great catch, man. Silly, silly. Yeah. Man. Pull it down a little bit. Oh, uh, let Yeah, oh yeah. A big. And the jagged, like, Oh, let me get away from his mouth, boy. I do not want to get bit by that dragon. Look at that. Wow. Wow. He's probably eating a lot of thick, fibrous plants out here. Just look at him. He's like a little dragon in my hands. You guys, I know there's a lot of dragon lovers out there, dinosaur lovers. You guys need to come out here and catch you some iguanas. We do hunting tours if y'all are interested. We uh, we just closed up, but now it's a new year, guys. So we'll be taking out, you know, a couple of them a month. But if you want to come out here and experience some, some awesome iguana hunting action, I mean, we do offer the tours, guys. There's found a really cool flower. We think it's lavender or something. Pretty sure it's lavender. It's a plant that's got a really nice smell, but it makes you like kind of sleepy, you know? That's probably really good food for an iguana. See? I told you. Oh, there's one right there. Still in midair, gosh. 
heavy iguana territory, y'all. Heavy iguana. These iguanas are super alpha. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at this. Look at this one right here. He's super alpha. Shoot. Oh, I see. <laughs> look at him. Look at this thing. Look at he Right now, he's just straight flexing on me right now. You know what I'm saying? He's pumping now. He's showing off his dewlap. What have we found here? A bush lavender. See some spiders living in that. Good plant too. Snowbells. There's probably why there's so many iguanas in here. But I know in the swamps, um, there's some lily pads that are very, very bitter, but you use them in like so we some things that we might think are bitter it's like actually good for them you know yeah. right, okay. yo he has some really nice colors to him yeah. yeah like the colors are really light on this one lime green light orange and a pinkish turquoise pinkish bluish head some type of waterfowl but yeah very pretty. He's out here eating too. There's probably a lot of a lot of a lot of options for food, you know. Exactly. And who knows what type of like crawfish and little minnows and worms. and worms and clams mm -hmm. be living in here too. So it's probably very rich. Very rich. <laughs> he was walking straight up to us. Yes. These these dragons are super feisty, man. Show a lot of dominance, a lot of cool colors, and it's really creative on how they're hiding. You know, already. Yeah. Hiding in very in very crazy spots. We've seen this one hiding there. And then the the crazy thing is, guys, they, their holes are actually in the marsh. All right. So this is my first time experiencing catching iguanas in this type of ecosystem. <laughs> We're gonna be harvesting these iguanas, y'all. So comment down some recipes y'all want to see us do. It's a new year, and we want to bring some new recipes out to y'all. All right. So in the bag.